Hey there, welcome back to Mastering Kinda Master Tutorials narrated in English. So today is a follow-up to the last J-Cut video, and this is the L-Cut video. This one's actually a lot easier to perform, and what it's all about is when you have audio from a video clip that you want to play as the video transitions into the following video clip. So without further ado, to show you this technique that is very useful, I'm going to just jump right into it. Now to show you the L cut, I've set up a little bit of a project here. I have some footage of me in my van and I'm at a park and I'm going into the park and then in the park I made a kind of a uh, edited video that's got some music underneath it. And I'm going to play it to you right now. I've got speaking in this part and then going and there's a, a jump to music and there's two separate audio tracks. So let's check it out. A little bit of a tour with the T with no name. Well actually, the T is staying here. I'm going in. And so you can hear there's a pause between the two. They don't flow together very well at all. So I'm going to do an L cut here and show you how easy the L cut is to do. So the first thing that you do is just like with the J cut, we select the clip on the side that we want. And this is always going to be on the L side for the, on the left side for the L cut. I've got it highlighted yellow and I use this menu over here and I get extract audio, which is the same thing as we did the other day. And that creates a separate audio track for that right there. All right. Now, instead of having to do any math that we had to do with the J cut, all that I need to do is select that and you can see that there's some dots on the edge of the yellow bar at the far right side of this. If I take and grab, that, grab this, you can actually see in the window there, it tells me how much I'm trimming off and you can see that my spoken word audio, which we've separated, is now going underneath the other video that we have there. And so you can do that and then I'm going to just put in a transition, a visual transition. I'm going to use a crossfade, which I like, uh, in between the two. And now when we play it, I am going, you're going to hear me talking and then the music going from the second clip at the same time. So here we go. Take you on a little bit of a tour with the T with no name. Well, actually, the T is staying here. I'm going in. So as you can see, this is much easier. If you watch the J cut video, this is so much easier. I'm much more preferable to doing the L cut. So once again, all you do is extract the audio. It lays on its own track. You select the video portion of it and you use the yellow tab and you move it and you can visually set it to the point where you want. You could adjust this to your heart's content. I'm not going to do that any further right now because hopefully you got the point by watching what I already did. All right, thanks for stopping by. Hopefully you learned something new from this technique. It's really useful. If you like the channel, make sure to subscribe. Got a lot of cool stuff coming on. And if you have a request for yourself, this was a viewer request. So I do viewer requests if I know what I'm doing and get out there, make some cool stuff with KineMaster. And I will see you next time on Mastering KineMaster tutorials narrated in English. <laughs> Can the master.